talking all about the heirloom white corn harvest in the Oneida area today. Ted Skenador and Don Sharnan join us now to tell us all about it. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey, why don't you first tell us uh, where you're all joining us from? Okay, we're at the June Haqua Agricultural Site. We're an organic farm. We're at 139 Riverdale Drive in Oneida, Wisconsin today. And what's going to be happening there this weekend? Well, we have the kickoff of our big um, harvest and husking bee, and that's from 9 to 5 daily. It starts on this Saturday and runs through this coming Friday. And you'll be harvesting and husking heirloom white corn, as we can see there. And you right. do some special techniques to dry it out. Tell us about that. There's a couple things. What Don was talking about last time is the braiding, and you can probably see one of these braids that are completed hanging. And then we do a couple other techniques. That's more of the traditional um, way they, they did it in the past. Uh, and a couple another, there's a new way that we just uh, figured out last year. And what we did is we took one of these uh, gravity boxes, we converted it into a corn dryer, so we put in a false floor, a perforated screen. And uh, most of this was all done out of recycled materials. And then this dryer, we actually took off an old grain bin and we made a, made a piece down here so it can hook right in there and then blow the air, there's circulation. This is corn on the cob yet because this corn is, carries a real high moisture and protein content. The content is about 17% protein. Mm -hmm. And we really try to dry it down to about under 12% before we can store it. And this is one of the techniques we use as a, a tester. We do three tests on here. And we take an average. So right now the average is at about 9.7, so it's safe to be stored. Yeah, and, and eventually uh, we're going to eat it because it's delicious. So uh, Don, why don't you tell us about uh, you know, some of the different foods that would be made or the nutritional value of that white corn? The most popular method of uh, consuming this uh, rich in protein corn is uh, probably soup. And each family has their own particular method of what works best, but basically it takes Oh, it can take anywhere from three to four hours to cook the corn down to where it, it blows up nice and succulent and, and, a, and a large piece. And then there's usually some form of meat and, and bean. And when uh, corn and bean are together, there's a, a complete protein. So all those uh, people who are searching for other than meat protein, uh, this is a really good source of uh, nutrition. Hmm. How would you describe the taste of white heirloom corn? Uh, corn is, a, a let's say, a, a softer, gentle taste, and it, uh, the way that you doctor it up or add, uh, let's say, some pork or some different kinds of turkey and, and spice it up your own way makes it your own individual kind of corn soup. But uh, as long as it has corns and beans, it tends to look all different, all different ways when different families take hold of that recipe. Well, very cool, and maybe people can pick up some tips when they come out there this weekend to uh, help harvest and husk. Uh, really interesting stuff, you guys, and we'll check back in with you again one more time before our show ends this morning. Thank you. That's great. Okay, we'll see ya.